Once Energy Manager Basic has been installed, it can be opened by clicking the icon or via the browser. Login is via the admin user specified during installation. The web client can be used in six languages – German, English, Spanish, French, Italian and Chinese. Clicking the Login button starts the login procedure. Click on the cogwheel icon to open the web client's configuration area. Acquisition including channels is displayed in the Data Source area. The WinCC, Modbus TCP, OPCOA and Energy Suite channel have already been created and can be used further. The OPCOA server of the 1500 CPU is used to record the production quantity. The IP address of the CPU's OPCOA server is first required for the OPCOA channel. The Connect button establishes the connection to the device with the OPC UA server. Then the cycle time of the data point has to be set. Then the OPC UA server must be selected. The data point in OPC UA server can be searched using the Browse button. The settings are saved with the Save button. The associated energy consumption is acquired via APEC 3200. A new device can be connected very quickly using the Add Device button. The PEC 3200 also has an IP address. The Test Connection button can be used to check whether the Modbus device can be reached. Then the cycle time of the data point has to be set. The measuring points for the PEC 3200 and PEC 4200 are already stored in the system. The measuring points have to be defined manually for any other devices. The settings are saved with the Save button. You have to switch to the main view to see the values. Previously created data points and parameters can be found in the Web Configuration folder. As soon as you click on a data point, the data points chart opens automatically. The chart has a zoom function for enlarging areas of the chart. The next part of this video defines unit consumption based on the two data points. The function for calculating the KPI can be defined via the Formula tab. The required objects can be searched for via the search function. The configurable measurements variable, short MIVA, is selected as default on the left-hand side. This function can be used to enter a formula. The Show Names slider can be used to show the names of the variables in the formula. The settings are saved with the Save button. The next part of this video shows user management in Energy Manager Basic. User management can be opened via Settings menu. The settings are saved with the Save button. We will now create a report in Energy Manager Basic. For this, we have to switch back to the main view. Reports are collected in the Reports subfolder. Editing mode has to be opened in the main view to create a new report. After clicking Add Report, the Reports Configuration dialog opens. A name and description first have to be typed in there. Then the report template has to be selected. Five templates are available after installing Energy Manager Basic. A reporting interval is automatically selected for each template. If more are needed, they can be added. The MIVAs and data points, whose results are to be shown in the report, can be selected via the Data Sources tab. The automatic start of a report, as well as the sending by email of a computed report, can be activated under the Automation tab. Sending by email can be activated separately for each interval. The report is saved and created with the Save button. The template can be adapted after the report has been created. For this, the report's configuration dialog has to be reopened by clicking the pencil icon.
The modified template can be selected and imported by clicking the Import button. The modified template is saved in the report with the Save button. To open the finished report, close Editing mode in the main view and click on the report. Like the report, the dashboard is created via the editing mode in the main view. The dashboard configuration dialog again opens automatically. The dashboard name is entered first. Then the date and time interval has to be selected. The settings are saved with the Save button. To open the dashboard, close editing mode in the main view and click on the dashboard. To insert a widget onto the dashboard, you first have to switch to the dashboard's editing mode and click Add Widget. The widget name is entered first. Then the compression level required for the values is selected. The MIVA and data points whose results are to be shown on the dashboard can be selected via the Data Sources tab. The widget has to be added before the axis and limits can be set. Up to five more Y-axis can be inserted into the widget under the Y-axis tab. Once configuration of the widget has been completed, the widget can be moved and enlarged in the gray area of the dashboard. A further important step is assignment of the axis to the corresponding data source. The widget has additional views that can be used for more in-depth analysis. The histogram shows the frequency distribution of the values and the resulting standard deviation of a data source. The standard deviation is a measure of the variation in the values. The linear regression helps to determine the system's behavior and consequently also standby consumptions. The data source is assigned to the y-axis by clicking on the data source in the legend. In addition, a second data source can be assigned to the x-axis. The linear regression provides a regression line as well as the formula for these lines. The formula describes the system behavior. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.